JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, Russian Barnett wants action taken for a leaked video. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. The man accused of slashing the throats of a kind on mother and her four children has instructed his attorney to pursue disciplinary action against a medical doctor and the justices of the peace present during a medical examination after footage of the video surfaced online. The six-minute video, which was recorded inside the medical post at the Halfway Tree Police Station in St. Andrew, emerged on social media on Friday and quickly went viral, triggering a police investigation into the source of the leak. Senior Superintendent Marlon Nesbeth confirmed that publication of the video is a breach of the police force's social media policy and has been investigated by the Professional Standards Unit. Nesbeth acknowledged too that the leaked video has other legal implications, including a possible violation of murder cues, Russian Barnett's right to privacy. Tamika Harris, the attorney representing Barnett, charged that although the medical doctor and the JPs indicated that they were there to protect your client's rights, they proceeded to ignore some of his fundamental rights. Chief among them, she said, was the dignity he should have been accorded. The attorney noted that the examination was conducted by a medical doctor and charged that some patient doctor confidentiality was not observed. I do not see what doctor is examining someone in the presence of the police and in the presence of so many justices of the peace, and also it has been recorded, she said during an interview yesterday. What bothers me also is that the justices of the peace would have known that he has an attorney. I do not know why they believe that they are able to advocate for him and they are not trained legal officers. The attorney said on the instructions of her client, she intends to write to the Medical Council of Jamaica, which regulates the legal profession, and the Custos of St. Andrew, who oversees JPs to pursue disciplinary proceedings. When contacted yesterday, Dr. Andre Cook, a JP medical doctor who identified himself in the video and led the examination, said he was not able to answer any questions. But during an interview on Friday, Cook said, We perform a service. As justices of the peace, we try to ensure that people, though incarcerated for the moment, their rights are balanced. Anybody is innocent until proven guilty. He explained that it was not unusual for some examinations to be recorded, but said in this case, for somebody to leak the documentation, it is just wrong. Cook said he checked with the other JPs who were present and they did not have the video. SSB Nesbeth said up to yesterday he had not spoken to the JPs who were present during the medical examination and could not say the intention of the people who captured it on video. It showed Barnett, 23, being questioned by a team of four JPs, including Cook. The examination was apparently triggered by complaints the murder accused made in the Home Circuit Court last Tuesday. I be a threat them a threat me still and a lick lick me na me back on them stuff day, he told the judge. Cook confirmed that the examination took place Friday and that a report has been sent to the Independent Commission of Investigations Indicom, the Commission of Police and the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. In a statement yesterday, Indicom said none of his investigators were present during the examination. The bodies of 31-year-old Kimisha Wright, Kimanda Smith, 15, Charlie Smith, 12, Raphael Smith, 5 and 23-month-old Kishon Henry Jr., were found at their Clarendon home on June 21 with their throats slashed. Barnett, who is a relative of the victims, has been charged with five counts of murder. The Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions has already served notice that it will seek the death penalty if he is convicted. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.